There are many dangerous sea monsters whose existence has not been proven. Sailors' historical accounts show gigantic creatures swallowing whole ships that are hostile to all humans in the water. Here are 12 of these mythical creatures that many sailors or regular people believed in and in which some people believe in even today. Umibozu According to Japanese folklore, Umibozu are said to live in the ocean and capsize the ship of any sailor who dares to talk to them. They have a cloud-like gray torso and snake-like limbs. The name of this spirit consists of the kanji umi, the Japanese character for sea, and bozu, the sign for Buddhist monk. Probably because this creature is said to have a big, round head similar to the shaved head of a Buddhist monk. In some cases, umi bozu are also described as the mighty yokai, which are various monsters and demons from Japanese myths that have animal or human features and supernatural powers. They are supposed to appear to shipwrecked people and fishermen. Originally, the umibozu were drowned priests, which is why they appear with a shaven head and seem to be praying. Yormungandr Yormungandr, the Midgard Serpent. Many of you know it from God of War. It is one of the greatest mythical creatures. It lives in the ocean and stretches all over the world. It encounters Thor several times in the Nordic Tales. One time when the god rose out with the giant Hymir to fish and he somehow manages to get the snake on the hook. And another time when the giant king Utgard Loki camouflages the snake as a cat and Thor is supposed to lift it as a test but fails. The snake was created by Loki and the giantess Angur Boda. And it is so powerful that it spans the earth, then bites itself in the tail and thus forms the shape of a closed circle. As soon as it lets go of its tail, Ragnarok, the downfall of the gods in Norse mythology, begins. This is when the god Thor fights the serpent for the third time and manages to kill it, but soon after, he dies of its poison himself. Kappa Kappa are one of the most famous creatures from the Japanese folk beliefs. They are yokai that have traits of humans and reptiles and a beak-like mouth. The water demons attack humans and animals passing their territory, drown them, and then steal their liver. They are only as tall as children and relatively harmless on land, but in the water, they are all the more dangerous. As long as there is a special magical fluid in their sara, that's the plate-shaped hollow on their head, these beings cannot be defeated by humans. However, if they lose some of the fluid, they become weaker and may even die. Kappa often steals cucumbers or drowns people who ate cucumbers before swimming. Still, the little creatures are not always evil. Sometimes they even help people and heal illnesses or challenge someone to wrestle. Skyla This sea monster comes from Greek mythology and consists of the upper body of a young woman and a lower body of six dogs. Skyla has not always been a monster though. Originally, she was the daughter of a nymph and beautiful, but a jealous sorceress poisoned the waters where Skyla liked to go. After taking a bath there, six dog heads and twelve dog feet grew out of her abdomen. Completely disfigured, Skyla wanted to avenge the disaster she had suffered and became a wild monster. From then on, she lived opposite another monster on a rock in a strait and ate everything that lived and came within her reach. For example, six companions of the Greek hero Odysseus. Charybdis Charybdis is the monster that lives across the strait from Skyla below a rock with a fig tree on it. Three times a day, it draws in the seawater and thus creates a suction that can devour ships. Soon after, it spits the water back out. The ships that are sucked in can't even be saved by Poseidon. Exactly what the monster Charybdis looks like is not known, but it is said that it is actually the daughter of Poseidon, the god of the sea, and Gaia, the earth. She was so voracious that she stole Hercules' cattle and was therefore exiled to the sea by Zeus. Leviathan the sea monster Leviathan has the combined features of a crocodile, a dragon, a snake, and a whale. The result is the largest and most terrible sea monster ever. According to the Bible, the Leviathan was created by God to play with, since God can cope with evil without a problem. Since any human effort would be wasted on such a monster, it is up to God himself to defeat the Leviathan at any time. After the Battle of Armageddon, there is a fight between the Leviathan and the Behemoth, which is the land-dwelling counterpart of the sea monster. The fight is interrupted by God, who kills both monsters with his mighty sword. Iku Turso Iku Turso is a malicious sea monster from Finnish mythology. What exactly this monster looks like remains unclear, but it has different names that are pretty descriptive. The one who lives on the brink, the bearded one, the ox of death, 
the one with a thousand heads, the one with a thousand horns. The monster is from Pojola, a place that is the source of evil according to Finnish mythology. This is pretty fitting as Iku Terso is described as the father of diseases. Hydra The Hydra is a serpent with nine heads and the sister of Zerberus, the Chimera, and the Sphinx, all of which are some of the most famous monsters in Greek mythology. The special thing about the Hydra is that for every head you cut off, two new ones grow in the same place. The water snake is therefore incredibly hard to defeat, because with every injury it only gets stronger, and the head in the middle is even said to be immortal. The Hydra lived in the swamps of Lerna in southern Greece, where it occasionally went to the countryside to prey on herds and devastate fields. At least, until the monster was finally killed by Hercules, who found a way to prevent the regrowth of its heads and buried the immortal head under a rock. The Kraken Stories of giant squids attacking and dragging ships into the depths of the ocean have been around for centuries and can be found in many mythologies and cultures around the world. A possible reason for this might be that there are really big cephalopods like the colossal squid, which was probably the real-life prototype of the mystic Kraken. In Norse mythology, the Kraken appeared in the 12th century. It is said to be up to 2.5 kilometers long and to look like a floating island. Due to its enormous size, it can even cause vortexes to form that can sink ships. In the 18th century, however, the Kraken was mentioned in a scientific paper where it was called Microcosmus Marinus. However, the monster was later dismissed as a mythological creature and removed from the book. Devil Whale The Devil Whale is a demonic whale monster that looks like an island when it sleeps. This helps the monster attract unsuspecting sailors who anchor their ships there. As soon as they leave the ship and make a fire on the island, the whale awakens, attacks the ship, and drags it to the bottom of the sea. Brendan the Traveler, an Irish saint, allegedly set foot on the fake island on Easter. After the monks had lit a fire to cook food, the island suddenly began to move, and the sailors hurried back to their ships. In some legends, the monster is not a whale, but a giant turtle. Sirine Croin Sirine Croin was a giant monster in the Scottish mythology. According to the stories, the creature is so huge that it has to eat up to seven whales to be satisfied. It's not a stupid monster at all, though. Sirine Croin actually likes to play with its prey. In one story, the giant creature shrinks to the size of a small silverfish that gets caught by a fisherman, only to switch back to its giant monster form and eat the poor guy. Yek Ushka This water horse also stems from the Scottish folk beliefs. It's not a simple monster, but actually a fairy creature. It inhabits the lakes and coastal waters of Scotland and is considered highly dangerous. Yakushka appears in the shape of a beautiful horse and waits for people who are attracted by its magnificent figure. But when someone tries to mount it, the person immediately gets trapped because the back of the evil creature secretes a sticky substance which the victim will stick to. With the human still on its back, the creature then gallops towards the sea or the nearest lake and swims to the deepest spot where it drowns the rider and almost completely devours him. It only leaves the liver, so when the organ is washed ashore, everyone knows that Hakushka has taken a human life once again. Cthulhu Cthulhu is probably the most powerful creature on this list. It came to Earth several million years ago and is held captive by a curse in the sunken city of Rulia in a death-like sleep. The body of this being is slightly human-like but extremely bloated. The head resembles that of a squid and the face is a tangle of tentacles. It also has long, narrow wings on its back. Cthulhu is one of the great ancients, who are powerful, extraterrestrial beings that embody the forces of chaos and are probably comparable to gods. Most of them are particularly powerful and cruel representatives of their respective species and worshipped by different people. If the stars align, Cthulhu will be resurrected once again to exercise its reign of terror over the Earth, ultimately leading to the death of all life. Although Cthulhu was actually made up by the writer of a short story, there are still people who believe in its existence and adore this being. Anyway, that was our list of some of the creepiest sea monsters. Which of these creatures do you like the best? Please let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, bye!